Hey cool dudes, let's check out the coolest web browser of all, Netscape 7. Hey everyone, this is VM Campos. So I'm an old school computer user. I've been uh, online for a few decades and I've seen it come and I've seen it go. What I'm gonna do now is, well, I've got Windows 10 on my laptop and what I will do here is run the classic Netscape Navigator web browser. So some of you youngsters are like, what is Netscape Navigator, sir? Well, it's the old, old, old version of Firefox. So I've got it here, I downloaded it, I'm gonna run it on my computer. But I'm not gonna run it on my Windows 10 machine, I'm gonna run it on Windows XP. Yes, this is Windows XP, don't worry about what magic this is, but it's Windows XP, it's got all the classic apps. Um, Internet Explorer, for example. So I'm gonna go download Netscape Navigator right off the internet right now, live. So if I go search for download Netscape Navigator 7, I'm going to search for that. There'll be several kinds of downloads. They're all probably spam. The one that works is from Netscape.ca. So the Canadians still use Netscape Navigator 7. I'm going to click there. Upgrade now, Netscape 7. Free download today, all new Netscape 7, Netscape's fastest browser, easier than every to upgrade. Keep your bookmarks and browser settings. So download it or order the CD-ROM for a special price of free CD. You just have to pay $2.99. Well, I'm going to download it. And I'm going to say to save it. I'll download it to my desktop, download it really fast, close that, close the browser. So there we go, we've got Netscape Navigator right here, double click to start the setup. Security warning, I'm not afraid, I'm going to run. Welcome to Netscape Navigator 7, you're about to install Netscape version 7. Great, next, there's the license, yep, law looks good, great, I agree to all of that, except do I want the recommended install, the full install, or the custom? I'll go with custom. Uh, create the directory, yes. Install mail and instant messaging, yes. Install spell checker, of course. Next on that. Do I want Sun Java 2? Yeah, quality feedback, AOL art extension, yeah, this all sounds amazing. Real Player 8, Win Amp, yeah. French region pack, wee oui, wee, oui. and also good old Macromedia Flash Player. I'll say, yeah, give me all that good stuff. Next, it'll install on my start menu into a Netscape 7 folder. Great. Put it in my quick launch, of course. Next, make Netscape.Canada my home page. How could I resist? Next, custom install looks great. Install. So this is actually connecting to ftp.netscape.com and it's downloading at some blazing fast speeds here. It's downloading about 32 megabytes of data for the whole Netscape suite. Setup is downloading the required files now. This may take some time depending on your network connection speed. It's going pretty well. Not as bad as dial-up speeds. So if you were downloading this Back in the day, this would be faster than you could imagine. Whoa, look at that. Currently installing lots of great stuff. Configuring Sun Java 2, of course, I will wait for that. So the latest version is Java 8, and this gives me Java 2. Thank you. Real Player 8 is installing. Winamp. And here we go, Netscape 7, connecting to server. Netscape 7 is currently not set as your default browser. Would you like to make the default? Yes. So here it is starting up. Here we go. Here's Netscape. What's so special about this? Go to help about. Netscape 7, copyright 2002. So I'm working with software here that is nearly 15 years old. 
what could we do with this old, amazing software? Well, visit websites, of course. Let's go over to google.com. There's Google loading up. Very nice. I'm going to go search for something. Uh, does not work. So Google is not quite compatible with Netscape 7. Security warning, the information you have entered is to be sent over an unencrypted connection and could easily be read by a third party. You sound scary, but I will continue. Feeling lucky. So it kind of works. I'll go back. Well, if I um, was going to get the authentic experience, maybe I'd want to use yahoo.com to go with my Netscape 7. Could not establish an encrypted connection because the certificate presented by yahoo.com is invalid. Well, spoiler alert here, I'm not going to really be able to visit me very many websites because they all use the, the newfangled encrypted connections. So I get a little teaser of Google, but I can't do too much with it. Interestingly, I can go to Bing.com, and I do get some kind of a search engine. So I can search for, for example, Reddit. It's going to keep warning me about security. Don't alert me anymore. Thank you, Netscape. Great, so I can do a little bit of uh, at least kind of looking in the real world for a moment. I'll go over to Reddit. Oops, again, Reddit uses the newfangled encryption, so we're not going to be able to do that. But at the very least, I can see this amazing loading animation up here. Look at that. Okay, well, browsing the internet is not going to be very, very fun. Um, what about if I go over to YouTube.com? Same thing. I can't really visit very many websites nowadays. Because everything's got security. HTTPS doesn't really work. Oh, wait a minute. Mashable's coming up. Kind of. Uh, not really. Kind of. Let's go check out what's going on on Twitter. Nope. Well, what can you do? Netscape Navigator was amazing because not only could you navigate the web, but you could also have a full-featured email client. If I were to set it up with my AOL account, for example, or my Netscape account, I might do that later. Or what I could do is a little bit of chatting with AOL Instant Messenger. To use AOL Instant Messenger, you need to provide a screen name. Great, let's set that up. I already have a screen name. I don't have a screen name. Let's register for a new one. Connecting to server on AIM, screen name. Uh, I want to be, can't quite select anything there, unfortunately. What if I create a, an ICQ account? Connect. This might not work after all. Most likely this server is long dead. All right, can't quite do that. Go back home. It takes me back to netscape.aol.canada. Again, Canada loves AOL and Canada loves Netscape. What if I go look over on search? That goes to netscape.ca channels slash search and can't search very much no problem we can go shop at netscape shop.netscape.canada could not be found whoops okay what kind of bookmarks can we check out best of the web sounds great let's go look at music that just goes back to the main aol.com which doesn't quite work that well. So what else can we do with Netscape? Well, 
we can make cool websites. We have Netscape Composer. If I open that up, we have my very first website. It is rad. Send donations. So I can make like the best website out there. So check me out. I am programming a website in Netscape Navigator. That's what it looks like. I'll save it next time. I'm going to get back to this uh, email setup. This time, uh, instead of setting up an email account, I'm going to set up a news group account. This is another cool throwback to back in the day news group. I'm going to say I'm VM Campus in VM Campus at vmcampus.com. Next, I'm going to con connect to a news group server. News to dot neva dot ru so what this gives me is the ability to connect to this news group and subscribe to all the coolest news groups out there and yes this is currently connecting and downloading the latest messages for all of these cool news groups. So what are you interested in? Boulder, Colorado, I guess, Borland programming, Borland publics, anything going on there? Attachments, conferences, yeah, are there any conferences? Let's subscribe to that. Nicholas Randall, Forest Deck, recently posted about a conference, I guess. What other great news groups can we visit? Internet.hellas, that's uh, Greece. What's going on in Greece? Nothing at the moment. Let's uh, browse over here. One of the coolest topics, of course, is alt.tv.x files. And this is an active news group. Let's connect and download. Ah, let's download all the headers if it lets us. How far will this go? Back to 2014. On Saturday, December 7th, 2002, Katie Moo wrote, He looks dirty, old man on Billy Joe. Jeez, dude, acronym central or what? Would you let your daughter type like that? Who trolling it hard. Rock eye. Top poster number one. And even on the most recent entry right here, Cyber Knight. Darth underscore Azrael at yahoo.com is keeping this news group alive. Talking about the skunk. Happy 55th birthday, Fox Mulder. All right, so that's the uh, Netscape email client and news reader. A lot of windows open up. I'm going to close all of this. Close the website. Quick launch. Uh, yeah, don't show me that again. Connecting. Okay, so not only did I get Netscape 7 from that installation, I got mail and news groups, instant messenger, and I got net to phone. So if I launch that, terms of service, yep. Uh, I need to unblock that. Could not establish connection. Net2phone.com probably went extinct a long time ago. But what this gives me is the ability to make phone calls right from my phone, from PC to PC, 
or PC to phone. I just need to create a, a new account. Let's create a new account. Again, this site's been dead probably 15 years by now, so that's not going to work. But imagine the mischief that we can get into right here calling phone numbers. Yeah, but it doesn't really work, so can't do much about it. We have real.com guide and real player basic. So back in the day, the hot place to get cool videos and audio was real.com. And it's not going to work. Realguide.real.com. It's just going to keep spinning and spinning, but I can look at this animation all day long. Connection was refused. But I'm using the official real link. All right. What about real player basic? Uh, I don't need to personalize that at the moment. And look at that. We have the classic real player where we can watch ABC News, CNN.com, or the screening room. Again, this is not going to work anymore. But this is what was high-tech back in the day in 2002, in the brave new millennium. And lastly, we've got Winamp. This was the audio player back in the day. So Winamp, null soft Winamp. Whoa, look at those amazing graphics. Copyright 1997 to 2002. Version 2.8 for Netscape. Amazing. Let's go check out the credits. Whoa, look at that. Winamp 2.8, the credits. Core development, Justin Frankel. Who made this amazing three-dimensional uh, world? keyboard shortcuts version history great well this was a very cool uh, audio and video player I'm gonna go play a file we've got one as a demo that comes with it Winamp, Winamp. Winamp. Llama tested. Mother approved. yep Winamp was all about the llamas Winamp, Winamp. Winamp. Llama tested. Mother approved. So there you go, there's our nostalgic trip down memory lane to see what it was like back in the day using the most popular browser from 15 years ago. And um, it's quite an experience. But perhaps some of you old timers are like, I remember Netscape, and some of you youngsters are like, WTF Netscape. In any event, this has been VM Campus with a trip down memory lane of Netscape Navigator version 7. Peace out. <laughs>